You said the game. Yeah, that um, it's really difficult to visualize sound without the incorporation of solfege. And I think that's part of why I struggled a lot more, especially when I was younger. I was always the last one to get the hang of what the song was, what are my notes were. I was always the last one to do it, and that was yet more ammunition for people to tell me if you have to practice this hard, that it's because you ain't got it. And all visual learner and and I noticed too that part of it is like you know skill and some things take more practice to get the hang of than others but at least with my understanding of what I'm supposed to do that when we incorporated solfage in that very effective way where you have the visual picture of the sound that yeah. I noticed my experience is a lot better where I don't have that frustration in the same way that I do where sure. I'm just throwing darts blindly and I don't understand what I'm doing differently and how do I hit the, t the bullseye versus I can yes. now see the dartboard and how am I supposed to reflect it and it makes the huge difference where you can then focus on working through the the natural course of getting better at a particular skill of hitting the bullseye but you can only really see yeah. did you even hit the dartboard are you even throwing in the direction of the dartboard or no yeah. I actually hit the other one. and it's in and, and I'm just really grateful that uh have that that incorporation of solfege but I, I understand now that when i took those general um choir classes which i think served a, a good purpose i learned a lot from it and also how yeah. is my mindset going to be i used a lot for when i want to do things professionally someday soon you're still going to join the choir so night, holy night, son of God. but it was there, I, I felt like there was a piece missing and I couldn't figure yeah. out how to even describe my problem and yeah. how they talk about it where it's like there's there's no solution to this and then as soon as I and, and it's also like even when I remember with the few times when they did say okay this is solfege do re mi fa so la ti do and then that's the end of it you don't do anything with it that it just made up a song for the film and it's like nothing and it's like you know it, don't come on we can learn things from film and and yeah. from plays and everything like that's like the total basic building blocks of singing like you need the abcs to read you need the one two three to count and yeah. and you need so much to get that that i think at least for my per, um case that that much needed visual perspective of sound and music and when you bring and then how do you bring the two together and that really yeah. helped of having that visual aspect to be part of helping me learn it. And, yes. and, and even with understanding piano as well too, of um, I didn't study, okay, how do I remember an A key or the key of E or how it looks like where I'll just let it naturally come with time. But if I know my solfege, I can pick any note on the piano and then I can find my notes. And that's the key, the most critical piece. I remember those formulas and then just let it naturally come for what you use a lot where, oh, I can find an A now without, having to build it up but i know how to do it and so that's this nice. is remarkable because yeah. you know i i really love what you were saying because what you did was just define or um tell us the benefits of selfage and you are someone who's benefited so much from selfage hallelujah 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 Remember the way you used to sound before the lessons and how you understand notes better now? In fact, the points you gave were right, right, they were spot on. You see, from the fact that, you know, visual singing, it gives you a kind of ability that just hearing won't give you. When you yeah. see what you're saying in the notes and then you're also good at hearing and then you named, you, you mentioned the ABC of, um, you know, ABCs, one, two, threes, to read yeah. and write 
need to know the ABCs. And also in music, we have the solfege, which is the building blocks of music. You know, to know music properly, to understand music, you need that as well. I mean, there's, there are things you said, I was like, this is just the definition. If you need all the points, you need to listen to Stephanie. <laughs> everybody <laughs> needs to know the benefits of singing. They need to listen to a real life um, a person who actually um, experienced it, you know, in your journey in music. This is amazing. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>